I'd been running on and off since school. It's the one athletic thing I enjoyed. I was useless at team sports, and running seemed so easy to do. Just lace up your shoes and go. In my 20s, little by little, life nudged it out. Work got busier, the kids came along, and before I knew it, I hadn't run in years. I thought I was okay, but I had a nagging feeling something wasn't quite right. I realised I needed running back in my life, but it seemed impossible to squeeze it between work and family. I tried getting up half an hour earlier and kept failing. That duvet was so tempting. I finally cracked it by leaving my running kit in a pile all ready to go and focusing on getting out the door to take that first step. I didn't set myself ambitious goals or high performance targets. I concentrate on taking that first step. After that first step, I take another and another and then everything gets much easier and starts to flow. Being out early means I get to experience the world that most people don't see. I can explore my environment and see the everyday in a different light. I'm able to create an island of solitude before the chaos of the day starts. It feels as if the volume on all my senses is at 11 when I'm out running. In summer it can be glorious. The world at dawn seems so alive and abundant. Winter can feel like more of a battle. The darkness, the cold and the rain can close in and make the whole run seem more private. But that's part of why I'm out here anyway, and I embrace it. I pay very little attention to how fast or how far I go. Even if I come home soaking wet and cold, the glow it creates lasts most of the day. For half an hour, I get to be me again. Not mum, not someone's boss, just me. All it takes to transport me there is my running shoes, and that's magical.